What's up guys, Austin here, and we just got the iPhone 15 Pro in the mail, so I'm gonna take you through the whole unboxing and I'll be sharing some raw first impressions at the end. There were definitely some interesting changes this year, so let's get into it. Alrighty guys, opening up the box here, we got the two little tabs. Apple's always makes their boxes special. We have the paper box like usual, basically what we're used to. Then we have the two pull tabs, pop those open and there we are. So first look, 15 Pro looks amazing. I got black titanium, although the natural titanium is amazing, but it's very similar to what we're expecting other than the action button. And uh, wow, feels lightweight, feels extremely premium in my hands. This is probably my favorite iPhone yet. Here we have the braided cable. Uh, it's okay, not as structural as the old cable was. It'll work, it just won't tangle as much. USB-C as we expected. And then a little bit of paperwork, which I never look at. And the stickers I never use either. Okay, turning it on, there is the Hello screen, classic, and that's pretty much it. I love how Apple makes it easy to just transfer all of your information over from your old iPhone, and then you can be set up within like 30 minutes. Here we have the Apple silicon case. Love this thing. I had the blue, like the navy blue from last year, and now I have the black. It's lightweight, MagSafe compatible, thin, still protects your phone. I think it pairs really nicely with this black titanium. And then this isn't sponsored by Cowtobee. I just love our screen protectors. They send you two, they're pretty affordable. And this year was interesting because there's no cutout. It's razor thin because of the speaker on the iPhone 15 Pro. Now for impressions, I can't make any definitive conclusions yet, but here are some initial thoughts. I'm excited to see how the transition to USB-C goes. I still have a lot of lightning cables. That's gonna make it interesting as I'm carrying two cables around now. But when I am able to finally transition all of my products, especially the Apple products, over to USB-C, that will be really convenient. I won't be buying the special cable yet. I don't transfer things from my iPhone to my computer that often, unless it's through AirDrop, and that's obviously wireless. Let me know what your thoughts are about the USB-C transition. I think it's a plus. Thinner bezels are always welcome. I personally use a case. I love Apple's silicone, silicon, silicone case, which is really nice. But if you are a caseless user, you will love the 15 Pro and this may make me a caseless user. We'll see what happens. It's really nice to hold in your hand, very comfortable. The edges are a little bit more round with the glass and as well as with the frame, which is super, super nice. I don't necessarily know if the action button will be easier to use, but it will be more useful. I've even just having it for you know a day now, it's been tough to like know if it's the volume button or the action button where the mute switch was pretty easy to distinguish. But when I do hit the action button, it's nice to have it customized. I've played around with it a little bit and it's really fun to use. Glad we have more customization on the iPhone to be able to go shortcuts or whatever you want. As for the titanium frame, it looks so clean and feels so good. The biggest thing I was hoping for was it to be less fingerprinty, if that's even a thing. It's unfortunately just as fingerprinty, maybe slightly less fingerprinty than the stainless steel is. So that was an issue I had with my 14 Pro. Doesn't hide fingerprints is the stainless steel band on the outside. Unfortunately, I wish there was an upgrade there. I'm not really a fan of the stainless steel edge that the 12, the 13, and now the 14 Pro has, but what can you do? If you're wanting to buy a phone that doesn't have the fingerprints, I want upgrade just for this because it's not going to be a huge difference, but it feels a lot lighter and it feels great in the hand. So there's a few initial impressions. I don't have time to go through every new feature in this video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the full review. If you guys want to see my full reaction to the keynote, you can check that video out here. Or if you want to see my iPhone 15 buyer's guide, you can check that out here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.